What's up YouTube? I'm William Bitter and this is my channel Money Thoughts. Money Thoughts. So with more and more people buying electric vehicles, I thought it would be appropriate to discuss the um, cost of ownership of an electric vehicle over the lifetime of the vehicle versus the cost of ownership of a gas vehicle. Uh, just check out this chart. Uh, as you can see, over the last 10 years, electric vehicles have been gaining more and more market share. Global car sales are almost 7% electric as of last year. And I wouldn't be surprised if we see, you know, around 10% this year. So I made this, this simple little spreadsheet um, so you could easily, you know, plug in some numbers and compare, you know, an electric vehicle versus a gas vehicle. And this way you can compare, you know, how much money you think you'll save on gas as well as maintenance um, on the vehicle. These are all rough numbers and so I'm going to leave a link to this spreadsheet in the uh, description below so you guys can plug in your own numbers. Uh, you might be skeptical of the numbers I'm using. They're all just kind of rough estimates. Um, maintenance savings over 300,000 miles. Um, this is just a number that I pulled off of Google. You know, this is because, you know, with an electric vehicle, you have less parts. Electric vehicles have regenerative braking, which uses the momentum of the car to recharge the battery. This process slows down the vehicle. I think your brake pads in an electric vehicle with regenerative braking your brake pads should last you, you know, probably the lifetime of the vehicle. You know, with an electric vehicle, you never have to change the oil. Um, you never have to clean out the carburetor. So this is the number we found on Google, and we're gonna we're gonna use that. And then um, cost per kilowatt hour. You can check your electricity bill to see how much you pay for electricity. The cost of electricity in my house, in my Airbnb in Colorado, is about 12 cents per kilowatt hour. So that's the number I used. But if you're using um, Tesla superchargers all the time, some of them can cost up to three times that much. So, you know, play around with the numbers and, and um, you know, what kind of charging you think you're going to be doing. But the economics of charging at home are incredible. I mean, you just charge at home overnight and like, and you know, just like you do your iPhone, right? And all right. so. So that's the number I have in here, 12 cents per kilowatt hour. Um, annual miles of 20,000 per year. This is just an estimate. Um, and then, so at least for my car, I have a Tesla Performance Model 3. Um, the battery size is a 75 kilowatt hour battery. And the range on the vehicle is 315 miles. Um, so based on the battery size and range, I should get about 4.2 miles um, per kilowatt hour. For the gas vehicle estimates, I used $4 a gallon um, and a car that travels 20,000 miles um, a year as well. And for gas mileage, I put 25 miles per gallon. Based on these numbers, and I just, you, I just um, spread the maintenance savings of $12,000, I spread it over 300,000 miles. So that means, you know, you're prorating every time you drive 20,000 miles, we're going to save about $800 in maintenance according to that, you know, just spreading it out evenly. Like I said, these are rough numbers. Um, and as you can see, you know, every, um, every year you're going to save about $800 in maintenance. You know, given these numbers every year, you should save about $800 in maintenance and your annual gas savings is about $2,629 a year. Pretty incredible. Um, and you can see here, I put a little chart. Um, so this is the cumulative gas savings, cumulative maintenance savings, and then just total cumulative savings over time. So as you can see, if you have this car for you know 10 years, your cumulative savings is gonna be $34,286. Um, so, you know, if you're looking at a gas vehicle versus an electric vehicle, you know, over time, the electric vehicle should end up paying for itself, which is pretty incredible, right? And if you want to be a little more conservative, let's just say you never have time to charge at home. You're only using superchargers. And let's just say that electricity at these superchargers costs 36 cents per kilowatt hour, which should drastically change the economics, right? But as you can see, you're still gonna be saving, you know, almost $1,500 a year, which is still great. And so that means, you know, over the course of 10 years, 
you're still going to end up saving, you know, 22,000, you know, almost $23,000 over the course of 10 years. And then, you know, if you're skeptical on the maintenance, you know, you might say like maybe electric vehicles, you, you don't think you're actually saving that much maintenance. Just look at the cumulative gas savings alone and you still got, um, you know, $15,000 of savings over 10 years. If you drive this car all the way to 300,000 miles, you know, you're looking at, you're still looking at 22,000 miles of cumulative gas savings, $34,000 of total savings. Um, back to our original example where I'm charging it at home, cost of electricity in Colorado is 12 cents per kilowatt hour. You know, if I make, if I manage to get this vehicle, you know, at 300,000 miles, um, it looks like I should have a total cumulative savings of, you know, a little over $51,000. Um, so anyway, I hope this, anyway, so this is just to get you guys thinking about the economics of electric vehicles versus gas vehicles. Um, plug in your own, num download the spreadsheet, plug in your own numbers. Let me know what you think. This spreadsheet obviously doesn't account for a lot of things, it's not perfect. You know, you should be able to take two cars that cost similar price, um, a gas vehicle, an electric vehicle, and plug in, you know, their stats here, and plug in your own cost of electricity and how much miles you drive, and and hopefully get a, a reasonable estimate on how much you think you'll be saving if you get an electric vehicle. If you guys like this content, please like the video, and until next time, guys, peace out. Save and invest your money.